Hey everyone, this is Rita Peterson with Everything Homemade and in this video I'm going to show you how to save a ton of money just by sprouting instead of buying lettuce. So a lot of people ask me, why do I sprout? That's pretty expensive, don't you think? Shouldn't you just buy lettuce from the store? Wouldn't that be easier? In actual fact, it is cheaper to sprout now than it is to buy lettuce. And let me show you. When I purchase my sprouts, they come in these big white um, five kilogram bag. And when I go on mom seeds, I don't buy the most ridiculously expensive um, sprouting seeds. So I'm buying red clover, I'm buying their ancient grain mix which is a mix of wheat and lentils and a few other ones in their fenugreek and such. I am buying a salad bowl mix so it has bean sprouts and some more lentils and I think it might even have sunflower in it. I can't quite remember, but it's, again, it's another blend. I'm purchasing a crunchy bean mix with tons of different lentils and gazebo beans and so much more. I'm buying blends that are different from each other. So when I am sprouting, I'm not always sprouting the same thing. So I pick about five blends that I like besides red clover and radish, but, but Pick what you like to eat that are cost effective. So I'm not talking about seeds that are like 100 grams for like 100 bucks. I'm talking about blends and seeds that are like 5 or 5 kilograms for like $50. Um, red clover, I think I pay 65 or 70, while the rest I pay 50 bucks um, per 5 kilos. So if you look at that size of that bag, that's a pretty good size bag and those seeds last a long time so when you purchase seeds those seeds I mean can easily go over 10 years if kept at cold storage no moisture and no sunlight so you're making a long-term investment so what I do is I purchase 250 Canadian dollars so that works out to $83 a year you guys $83 a year $250 over three years worth of seeds to feed my family of eight. Now we start sprouting in October when I can't get anything out of the garden all the way to June when the lettuce is sti still kind of germinating, growing, but we usually stop about the end of June because that's when we start getting the harvest coming in, especially with fresh greens from the garden. Now, I'm also supplementing a little bit in May with fresh dandelion and um, uh, horse radish, some herbs that are coming up, but the, it doesn't make up a big bowl, so I still add in those sprouts. Now, you can sprout a lot, and what we do is we have about eight jars that we continuously sprout. So we start with two jars one day and then we start another two jars and another two jars and all the way through every time we empty a jar we are getting that jar ready with something new in it. So there's this continuous sprouting that happens and that's the key. So you're never out of sprouts. And I can make delicious salads. I mean, take a look. I got these wonderful red clover sprouts and then I just take a handful and I sprinkle over the crunchy bean mix and a little bit of pea sprouts and then I add a little bit of corn. Now this corn is from my garden that I've dried. It's pre-blanched so you can eat it without breaking your teeth. It's absolutely delicious. And then you add a little bit of hemp. I got little hemp hearts, so just a little bit of hemp heart sprinkled over. Then some beautiful um, chopped up almonds and top it all off with my fresh homemade cheese. And of course, a salad dressing or a vinaigrette of your choice and then mix it all up and you've got such a delicious 
sprout salad. Now, salads don't always need leaves, so these sprouts are so nutritious, especially you can switch them up so you're not just getting the same nutrition from one sprout, you're getting a variety of sprouts in your diet. So you can really up your nutrition. Plus, what I find is that the prices of lettuce in the store is so expensive, if you can find it. So if you are able to find it, then you're paying between 8 to $10 for a head of lettuce. Well, for goodness gracious me, I got a family of eight. That head of lettuce is not going to last three or four meals. It's going to be eaten in one night. So if I just round my numbers to $10 a head of lettuce, I mean, you do the math. $83 for every single day of sprouting for that one year or $10 per head of lettuce. I mean, it doesn't take long to equal $83. That's eight heads of lettuce. Actually, eight and a little bit if you want to be exact. But that's there. there's no comparison. It is way cheaper to sprout and that's why I sprout. Plus, I don't know about you, but here in Canada, we seem to get recalls like crazy. Recall the romaine lettuce, then recall the spinach, then recall this mix and that mix. Like, I don't even feel safe eating the lettuce from the store in winter time. And if I grow lettuce under my grow lights for my family, I can't keep up. I can't, don't got enough space to grow enough for a family of eight to have a bowl, like a large bowl of salad per night. So sprouting for me is the option. I can store those sprouts easily. I, it only takes, you know, a rinse in the morning, sometime in the afternoon if we can, but definitely morning and evening. I made an entire series on how to sprout and it is so cost effective. It doesn't take much to start up. There's so many ways to sprout. I just use canning jars and I just have you know the sprouting lids and they come in all shapes and sizes you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars to get set up there's no dirt if you got water and a jar some kind of mesh over the jar you are good to go so I really want to emphasize that because we are in a time that the economy is down there's not a lot of money um, everybody's struggling. Everybody's struggling. Um, I feel it. And, but our health should not have to suffer. It's important to keep our health. If any time during, during the time that I'm alive, we need to keep our health important because the hospitals, doctors and everything, they're so overwhelmed that we need to do everything we can to keep our immune system healthy and strong and that goes foremost with diet what we put into our bodies and i find you know when you're eating living food that you can do it yourself is the best and in this case it is way cheaper way cheaper if you're in the states i mean um, you can you can find find somewhere um, to grow sprouts. Mom sprouting sprouting seeds. I order from them. I mean, my order I think it was anything over forty dollars is free shipping all over Canada. So that's awesome because I'm ordering. What did I order? Well, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five kilograms of seed. That's 25 kilograms of seed. That's a l pretty heavy box for free shipping. And I think it's $55 or 70, I can't remember, for free shipping to the States. So take a look at them. They're a family run business. So I really, really like what they're doing. And I try to help anybody, you know, any family, family business. So check them out, think about it and just remember, be creative. Sprouts are not just for going over top, you know, maybe decorate your egg or put a little bit on your soup. Beef it up. I put like a huge handful of sprouts over my egg every single morning. Um, if I have soup, I have sprouts. If I'm, ma I'm making a salad, I'm making it with an array of, of uh, sprouts. So think out of the box. Anything you can do with a lettuce leaf, mixing up a salad, you can do with sprouts um, and just pick the ones you enjoy eating and you will have new you have wonderful 
and you have wonderful nutrition in a bowl. So thanks for so much for watching. Definitely check out our website. My Everything Stevia cookbook is out. You can order that from the website. You can also check out my chocolate collection. Absolutely healthy chocolates, sugar-free, gluten-free, and dairy-free um, on the website as well. I also have my favorite garden seeds and those seeds will be growing in variety as more that I keep from the garden enough to sell for the general public. So definitely check out our web website, everything-homemade.com, and I will see you on the next video.